Jagdisha, Associate Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Canara Engineering College, Bantwa. Here, in this video session, we see Software Engineering, BTU Syllabus, hitting CS 35. In the last video session, we have seen about the context model as well as in the second video session we have seen about the interaction models in the interaction model we saw the two related approaches in interaction model that is use case modeling and sequence modeling sequence diagram in the use case modeling we saw the example on the mental health care patient management system as well as how to draw the diagram as well as how to give the description in a tabular column and in the sequence diagram we saw how to draw the sequence diagram and how to draw the lifeline to the object and uh, how to give the brief description and how to draw the uh, acknowledgement to the object as well as actor. In this video session, we will see this is continuation of the chapter 5 of module 3. We saw the context model as well as interaction model. Now, in this video session, we will see about the structural model. So, in the structural model, we have the class diagrams as well as the generalization as well as aggregation. So, first we will see the definition of the structural model. Structural model of software display the organization of the system in terms of components that make up the system and their relationship. Structural models may be static models which show the structure of the system design or dynamic models. It shows the organization of the system when it is executing. So we have saw the structural model. Structural model here is nothing but what we saw in the second model that is nothing but the second model third chapter class diagrams. So class diagrams gives the description of their association between the classes and their objects and their operations of the classes. You create a structure model of a system when you are discussing and designing the system architecture. So uh, designing the structural model it gives or it gives an idea for a designer or a for the implementation team to design a system architecture of the application or a system or the whole system. So class diagram. Class diagrams are used when developing an object oriented system model to show the classes in a system and the associations between these classes. So in the previous model, we saw the class diagram consisting of three box or three field in rectangular boxes. The first field 
is a class name second field is an attribute field third field is an operation and it is optional or you can write it as functions that is related to the attributes which is declared in the second box of the rectangle box an object class can be taught of as a general definition of one kind of system object an association is a link between classes that indicates that there is a some relationship between the classes so association is a link between the classes there may be one class may be here like for example you can consider as a patient as well as a patient record so for one patient there will be one patient record so association this is one this is one class and this is another one is another one class and to get a link between two classes we will draw a link that is called association link when you are developing a models during the stages early stages of the software engineering process objects represents something real world so something you can uh, for our example what we have dis uh, discussed in this uh, module or patient as well as record as well as mental health care related to that so they have given the patient as well as prescription to the doctor as an example this is for the uh, uh, something of real time or real world example of a developing a class diagram so this is a uml classes and association so patient and patient record here you can see the one to one relationship between the objects of the classes so you can see a one to one relationship between the classes so that is each patient has exactly one record and uh, each record maintains the information about exactly one patient so it maintains a record of exactly of one patient so other multiplicities are possible actually what we have seen other multiplicity is possible uh, what we have seen in the last uh, module that is the same thing here also and uh, you can define exactly one object or involved something like more if you wanted means you can put it star here and uh, we'll see one more example here classes and association in mental health care patient management system so you can see here is it a class diagram it shows that the object of the class patients are involved in the relationships involved in the relationship with the number of other classes so class of patient is one patient one or more patient are referred by the general practitioner and one or more patient can refer to the consultant one or more patient can diagnose with one or more conditions one or more patients can attend the one or more consultation or there is one or more consultation and consultation prescribes medication one or more and uh, consultation can have one or more runs on to uh, there is doctor hospital doctor one or four doctors consultation can have a doctor can have a more than uh, one or four this is not a star it's a four one or four hospital doctor can have a consultation with one or more more or runs a consultation one or more and consultation uh, one or more prescribes one or more treatment so this is what the uh, associations uh, various associations uh, are related in uh, mental health care patient management system so this is one an example uh, that is uh, given in the textbook so you can see the consultation class so i in the beginning itself i said 
the class consisting of three fields. The consultation is a class name, and these are all the attributes uh, to the consultation class, and these are the function. So, doctor, date, time, clinic, reason, medication prescribed, treatment prescribed, voice notes, transcripts are all the uh, attributes of the consultation doctor and new prescri prescribed record notes, transcript or the functions related to that attributes. So if you give, if you draw the class diagram uh, in this way, so it helps for the implementation team to develop a code easily. So e, uh, the implementation team, it is the, they doesn't want to uh, spend a lot of time in uh, developing a code. So this is one of the advantages of having a class diagram. So we will see the generalization. Generalization is an everyday technique that we use to manage the complexity rather than learn the detailed characteristics of every entity that we experience, we place these entities in more general classes. Learn the characteristics of the class, these classes. This allows us to infer that different members of these classes have some common characteristics. You can see here, in modeling system, it is often useful to examine the classes in a system to see if there is scope for generalization if changes are proposed then you do not have to look at the look at all classes in object oriented languages such as java generalization is implemented using class inheritance mechanism in a generalization not only java any object oriented languages like C++, uh, the .NET, uh, then even uh, your Python or all object oriented languages. In a generalization, the attributes and operation associated with higher level classes are also associated with the lower level classes. Higher level is nothing but super classes, lower level is the subclasses. The lower level classes are subclasses, inherit the attributes and operation from the super classes. These lower level classes then have more specific attributes and operation. Along with the super classes, the subclasses can also have their own attributes as well as its own operations that would, uh, depending upon the classes. You can see the example here, doctor, hospital doctor, generalization practitioner, consultation team doctor trainee doctor qualified doctor so doctor basically what are the basic information their degree their age their birth date are all in included in the the, the uh, super classes and their hospital doctor will be there and general practitioner so general practitioner the person who do md so uh, hospital doctor is a one of the doctor who is a general doctor and there will be a consultant doctor as well as team doctor that is a separate so consultant doctor there is depending upon the timing or uh, at what time the doctor enters to the hospital etc all those things and team doctor will be the head of the uh, that is uh, any of the that is uh, branches there will be a trainee doctor as well as qualified doctor that is trainee doctor just who have completed and qualified doctor uh, to the help of the team doctor. So th th these are the uh, there is a generalization where it extracts the features of the doctor. Common doctor, it is been extra. See, trainee doctor, it has one extra field. Uh, but uh, along with the doctor's information, there is doctor basic uh, attributes. So birth date, uh, there is uh, degree, MBBS, something related to like that, and uh, his age uh, as well as sex. Uh, the address, uh, then uh, their uh, uh, permanent address, etc. That extra field will all be included in the uh, uh, super classes. 
so this is what uh, information in the generalization of hierarchy so you can see here doctor can have a name phone number email registered deregistered hospital doctor can have a staff and pager number generalized practice and his addresses so these are the extra along with these attributes it will be having all these attributes allowed to the both the doctors but uh, the uh, the attribute which is declared in the general practitioner won't be in the hospital doctor and the hospital doctor attributes won't be in the general practitioner so that's been uh, divided so but all these features will be there in both the uh, class super sub classes so object class aggregation models an aggregation model shows how classes that are collections are composed of other classes aggregation models are similar to the part of relationship in data models so here the features of other classes extract the all the features to the other classes or to other some other to, uh, to other classes will be indicated aggregation model here will be indicated aggregation model with the help of the diamond shape you can see here the patient record as well as patient and consultation is been the field whatever the field is included in the patient record uh, there's all the same field will be extracted uh, that, that is been indicated by the uh, aggregation size signature so uh, you can see here that the uml provides special type of association between the classes is an association between the classes uh, that, that means uh, that the one object uh, as a whole is composed of other objects uh, that is we have shown in the diamond shape uh, next to the class it represents the whole as a whole it is being represented diamond shape patient record is a composed of patient and indefinite number of indefinite number of this is one to one patient record and indefinite that is one is to one into many consultation so this is aggregation uh, association so coming to the last uh, slide of this video session uh, what are the things that we have seen in the video session of uh, all the three video session uh, model is an abstract view of a system that ignores system details complementary system models and shows a system context interaction structure and behavior context model shows the system that is being modeled is positioned in an environment with other system use cases diagram and sequence diagram are used to describe the interaction between the users and system this is in the system design structural model shows how the organization and architecture of the system are designed class diagrams are used to define the static structure of the classes in a system and their association so we have seen context model as well as interaction model as well as structure models so by this uh, uh, i will wind up this uh, video session uh, in the next class we will see the behavioral model so if you have any doubt you can ask in the online session and get you clear the doubts